Geometry Notes, Section 1.5, Angle Pair Relationships. Now that we've looked at angles in general, we're going to look at pairs of angles, or special pairs of angles together. We can have pairs of angles that are related by their physical location. Our first example is adjacent angles, and these are two angles that share a common vertex and side. For example, if I drew angle A, B, C, then I want to share vertex A, or I'm sorry, vertex B, and draw another side here such that angle ABC and angle CBD are adjacent angles. Non-adjacent angles are angles that are not adjacent. Honestly, that's the easiest way to remember it. You can also have angles that are related by measure. All right, so we can have space, where if they share a side and a vertex, they're going to be adjacent angles. If they don't, like angle A and angle B, they're non-adjacent. We can then have angles that are related by their measure. Complementary angles are going to be two angles that sum to 90 degrees. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B needs to be 90 degrees. Then angle A and angle B are complementary. You also have supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that sum to 180 degrees. So if the measure of angle, we'll change up the letters here. If the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D equals 180 degrees, then angle C and angle D are supplementary. So this is how angles can be related by their measure. Lastly, you have angles that are related both by physical location and measure. A linear pair are two adjacent supplementary angles. The reason they are a linear pair is because when you draw this out, you will see that the outside sides of these angles create a straight line. So we're going to draw another ray here. We'll label these angles 1 and 2. Angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair. Notice how they're adjacent. They share this side and their vertex. And they're supplementary because this entire angle together is 180 since it's a straight line. Whenever you have two adjacent angles that add to 180, you will end up with this straight line. And lastly, we have vertical angles. Vertical angles are a little trickier to define. Vertical angles are two angles with sides that form pairs of opposite rays. So with sides that form pairs of opposite rays. You want to look for the x. So if you have vertical angles, they'll share this vertex, and it essentially creates an x. 